Hey everyone, it's Mysterion, and we are heading to London, Ontario. And we're going to be going to Heroes, Toys, and Collectibles on Toy Tantrum. Is that Johnny Rotten? Bring your body down on the floor. I want the one that, no, the other one, no, yeah. Pfizer. Yeah, Pfizer, Pfizer, whatever his name is. Jeremy Bottoms, wasn't it? Uh, no, he's on the top. <laughs> Let me see this. Bring him on over. Let me see this. Look at this, guys. Got a nice carded black hole Pfizer. And there he is. Man, it is basically the same figure. Look at that, $1.18. The $1.18 sticker. And now at $50, from marked down from $2.98 to $1.18. That's a good figure. Let's see what else we got. There's Kate. There's Kate. That's Kate is nice. Yeah, that's Kate's nice. I like Kate. Do you have any more than me? No, I don't need Ernie. Okay, you got the Durant? I have a Durant. I need... Uh, I need uh, Psycho. I need Anthony Perkins there. Well, that's that's the Durant. That's Durant. I'm sorry. I was thinking of uh, what's his name? Huh? Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. I didn't even hear what you said. I'm just going to agree. Hey, look, it's Allison from Penn and Teller's Fool Us, and uh, she was on the episode that Steffi and I were on where we fooled Penn and Teller. And now I have a voodoo doll of you, Allison. I. No, I would rather have the voodoo doll of Penn. Wow, what an amazing time in London, Ontario at Heroes. You guys got to check this place out. Not only do they have wall-to-wall -wall comic books, great prices, a lot of amazing vintage toys. And not just the vintage toys, but the accessories and really good staff. I mean, knowledgeable, helpful, friendly, amazing time. I got a few things today. I actually picked up some amazing black hole pieces and that's what we're gonna be talking about. But before we go to the black hole, I picked up a couple other toys for this room. And as you can see, there's a lot of toys to be had. Uh, first thing I've got is a Mermista from She-Ra from, of course, Mattel. And this would have been released in the mid eighties. And this is her mermaid friend. I actually have an affinity for mermaids. I love mermaids. I collect mermaids that have been mounted and made out of a monkey and a fish. I collect oddities. I have mermaid tattoos and she even has her little squirter. I still haven't really looked at this doll too closely, but pretty cool toy. And then of course, I also picked up something even older from the late seventies and also from Mattel. Uh, this is Gabe Kaplan. This is Mr. Cotter from Welcome Back Cotter. Now these are easy to get. Um, they're pretty common. I think I only paid about $15 for him, but he's complete. And that's what I love about heroes. Uh, they don't sell many toys that don't have all the pieces, his shoes, his jacket, his tie. Um, I wouldn't imagine he'd have gotten much play with back in the day. You wouldn't have put Mr. Cotter through uh, hell, but although I, I have an idea, I might, I might bury him in a, in a schoolyard and see what happens after a few months and dig him up. Anyway, that being said let's see what i did buy and it is right down here i got some amazing black hole figures this here is anthony perkins as durant here is kate mccray the psychic doctor and here is who is going to be visiting a black hole later and that is durant and what do i mean by visiting a black hole well after i've opened up these vintage toys and have done a review we're going to take this one and we're going to do something special with it, uh, basically rendering it completely worthless. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of flack. Anyway, let's take a look at the packaging. The Black Hole, I mean, an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. Check out the film. It's actually really, really dark uh, for something that looks so bubbly and by Disney. It's actually probably Disney's darkest piece. Um, really, uh, really scary at times. I never liked it as a kid. I thought it was kind of boring. But as an adult, I watched it recently, and it is fabulous. And the figures are fabulous. Um... They were released in 1979, and they're released by Mego. Uh, they were released in the three and three-quarter scale to be compatible with Star Wars, but let's face it, they're not Star Wars, and they didn't sell very well. And as you can see by the price of a dollar and change being reduced down, these were peg warmers, which is essentially any toy that sat on the pegs in a store collecting dust because they didn't come with weapons. They were fairly boring characters. Um, and even if you look at the back, I mean, that does not scream fun. It's just a bunch of shots of the actors um, standing with their arms crossed. There's no weaponry. You have Maximilian in the middle, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, it's a big giant robot that's a big giant red nothing. And then you have this little guy, uh, Vincent, which I love Vincent as a character. But he is you know, clearly not R2-D2. Um, there were many other figures that were in this line that were only released in Canada. There's, of course, um, Star, who's the Sentry, uh, the Humanoid, and there is Old Bob. And I actually have those three, but they're not carded, and I will show you those in another video. But as for now, let's take a look and see what is inside the pack. And we're going to open up Kate, 40 one year old toy and there she is she's as they say letting her breathe and i know a lot of people are going to get upset with me right now but guess what it's my channel and i can do as i wish um at first glance there isn't really much about kate other than the standard mego sculpting she's got nothing interesting about her there's no v weapon her her face is you know, average sculpt. Um, does she look like the actress? Uh, no, the actress seems to have a perm and the figure has more flattened hair, a little bit of curl in the back. But I mean, for all purposes for 1979, this is a good figure. But you know what? Let's face it. It's no Princess Leia. All right. I like her because she has psychic power and she can communicate with Vincent and she's perfect for the toy line but um yeah i mean this is why they were peg warmers they're they're not very exciting now i like this figure personally i think that this is pretty cool because it's um anthony perkins who of course was norman bates and he played dr durant and um dr durant uh here it kind of looks like han solo in a, in a weird way i don't know if that's what they were going for it looks like a han solo on uh, bespin but once again standard back i think it would have done them a few favors to have a bio or an action shot or something from the movie but you know they didn't and uh this is why these are available now uh fairly easily uh but they're usually loose they're not opened and i'm gonna open up durant and take a look at him as well and i know people are going no don't do it but guess what there he is now i don't know i would have used him as indiana jones I, I think, you know, as a kid, if I had found this in the early 80s, I think he would have made a perfect Indiana Jones. You know, he just looks like a guy. He looks like your uncle who visits and drinks too much at, uh, at the table over the holidays. I don't know. There's not much to be said about this figure. Once again, there's no weapon. But there's a little bit more than Kate because there's some change in color. There's the jacket. I don't know. I'm trying to stretch uh liking it more than what it is and and it's really not much more than a guy in a movie who does a lot of talking he doesn't have any um any more than that uh he may take a few cracks at some of the sentries at one point but i don't think he does anyway that's durant and uh yeah that's durant that's the mego black hole durant once again nothing special now this guy we're going to take him out. He's the harder to find. I've had a long time uh, search for him. I like the history with the price tags and the reduction in cost. A little bit of a story. Still the same thing on the back. Oh, I noticed something here. Oh, that's from the store. 
That's a tag from the store, inventory tag. And it comes in a protective case, which we're not gonna need anymore because we're going to put him literally in a black hole after this review. Now I'm gonna open up Pfizer. Now Pfizer is actually the exact same figure as Holland, except the head is different. But other than that, Pfizer has just a little bit of a different head mold, a head sculpt, I should say, and uh, lighter hair. But he is essentially the exact same figure as, um, you know what, I'm going to get my, my guy right here. Follow me over here. I'm going to get him and show you that. Come here. Let's, let's take a look at this. And you can kind of see that they're exactly the same toy. I mean, why would you want both? You're, you're going to go and you're going to get, you know, a Star Wars figure or one of the robots or something a little bit more exciting than these two plain astronaut characters. But he's a necessary character in the movie. And actually, I like the character in the movie. He's a little bit of a, a wisecracker and, and, and sort of, you know, a young hotshot type idea. These joints are, of course, really tight. They've never been uh, played with. So this is a dead mint figure. Um, but soon he's going to be dead. And once again, the exact same thing on the back of the card. Nothing more than some promotional shots of the actors. And there you have it. There's Pfizer or Pfizer. I know people are gonna are going to um, correct me. I make up names a lot of the time. I still call Cylon Zylons. I don't know why, but I do. And uh, that's what is going on in my head. But that is... Uh, that is another figure of the black hole line. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put these figures on my display. You can come over and uh, I'm going to leave him here. And I'm going to take these guys. You can come on over here and take a look. I'm going to put these guys on my display. And I'm going to add to the collection. You can see that there's Kate. And Reinhard, there's a really rare star. The humanoid. Where's the humanoid? Oh, I know where the humanoid is. The humanoid is actually having a photo shoot for another video. And so is old Bob. But there they are. There's a good team of the crew. And let's go outside and take care of this guy in a very unusual and special way. That isn't the black hole. That's more like the Moss Eisley Cantina in that coffee shop. I'm here at the corner of Lansdowne and Bloor, not too far from my house, one of the busiest corners, and I found a black hole that we can finally get rid of the first vintage toy opened and reviewed here on Toy Tantrum. We're going to take this bad guy, and we're going to stick him where the sun don't shine. Remember, I'm Mysterion, and I always pick first. Curse you, Chris. Every time you drag me out to a toy store, I end up spending money.